with 3.10 to play. Anglem works to Zaid. Zaid, long ball here. Campbell out. This one tipped up and in. Unbelievable. With 3.01 to play, a broken play. Ball. Sarah Weber strikes and pounces on it like a cat. And all of a sudden, the Huskers lead with 17 to go here in the half. You bring up cats. That reminded me of a lion jumping on a wounded gazelle in the Serengeti. 13 seconds. Able to retain possession, but South Dakota State is doing a great job of getting in the passing lanes. It's a pesky style of play, and it works. And it over the middle of the shot. In! Cuff and corner kick! Ella Gaia with the feed. And it's Sarah Weber with another goal to her name this year. Six players we can go to to put the ball in the net. He says, okay, I got 15. That's kind of like, like, like what this matchup is here. Don't get me wrong. Oh, as the ball's played over the top. And it is played over the top. Weber looking for her second goal. That one is in Mamma Mia. Two goals for Waite, two goals for Weber. And it's a 4-2 lead for Nebraska. And Josh, that one is a... Back by Nebraska. Good hustle there from Waite. Now Zaid. Picking around and tied. Weber is there. Hustle into the Nebraska bench and a quick throw in. Belzeal. Puts it to Weber. Weber with the blast, and she scores! Wow. That's a technical, least sound finish right there from Sarah Weber. Need of Jordan Zaid has had a couple of them. We're going to get another acrobatic throw in from her as well. Try to set something up in the box again. Kick toward Dale on another near opportunity. Stays in with possession of Nebraska and Weber followed. Zaid with another throw here. Sends it back. Hauk with it. Ball toward the top of the box. Some danger there. Minnesota trying to deflect. And the Huskers are up. Uh, Belzio can do the passing. And all four of them have the electric ability to go out there and score at will. Belzeal floats that one in, a header by Schwarz. Finds the feet of Weber, might have a clean shot. That one's in! Get that scoring total up on the year. And looks good. Header down. Oh, nearly in! And knocked away. Huskers with another chance. That's in! with three defenders against a team like Nebraska that can cause a lot of trouble because here they go on another run a beautiful through ball by Eleanor Dale finds a running Abby Schwarz Schwarz might be able to keep it in play in the corner she does patiently setting it down with Carrie in her face that one nearly went through it's rolling toward the net goal Galwabunga junior to junior the Wabo combo up front of Abby Schwartz. Puts a little bit of pressure here on Pritchard. I don't think she's had too many touches. She found the corner, if you remember, with her head. But short of that, I don't think she's had any breakaway opportunity. She may get one here if a, the ball is square. There it is. She'll leave it. Oh, what a great lead. And a goal scored there by Weber. You know, we said it earlier, but Ohio State's been knocking at the door. I've had possession again a lot of this half. This is Schwarz. Schwarz. Good pass. Look at that. Just like that, they answer. I mean, that front four. Weber's got the brace. Schwarz. Possible. This one sent up in the corner. For the Belzeal. That one sent over the middle. Deflects off of Weber's leg. Headed back. Peterson sends that toward the arc. Smart play. Here's Weber with a clean chance. The shot. That one's in. Wait, dancing around the middle. Sent back to Hauk. Hauk. 
A threat Good back ball. there. Beautiful header chance. That one's in the net. <laughs> Mamma mia, the Husker strike yet again with a header, and it's Nicola Hauk, the playmaker from the back, but she finds Sarah. So far, Dale has not only been man marked by Brown, but just across the back line has won the battle. Altman's cross on its way. Header past Chief. It's Weber. Something high number. And I, I loved how he talked about how the diversity he thought was a huge positive. Oh, this Ball is dangerous. The box. Weber got it. Sarah Weber does not miss those kinds of chances in front of the. Just change everything. It will. But I, I, I do think it'll just the unique matchups will be interesting. When's the last time Nebraska played Washington in right. soccer? Ball played across here towards Sarah Weber. Weber, it's going to put it onto her left foot. Weber's going to have a shot. It's in. Go. Interesting. Sixteen and a half left to go here in the first half or in the second half. Excuse me, between the Huskers and the Jack Rabbits. Ball played here in the midfield. Nice kick from there. Here's Carpenter. Carpenter finds Sarah Weber. Goal! Goal! They have just dominated possession, and they're doing so again. But Alessino can't get to that ball, and Hauk pokes it away. Now a chance, potentially, for Weber. Weber shakes the defense. Shot, Dale wide open, and the nation's leading scorer comes right back. See how they take this free kick. Looks like they're gonna try and look for Dale. It's over her head, but not over the head. Oh. Here's in a row, then last year, finally broke free, got eight wins, made the Big Ten Tournament semifinals. Ball bangs up a sheep, and on the second. For as long as possible, if you win a ball, and there's not a lot of defenders back, it's definitely key to have a forward who is willing to play some defense. As Nebraska now has it in their in their side of the field, Sarah Weber trying to win the ball for Nebraska. Eleanor Dale boots it over defender's head. She kicks it. That's a goal in the top left corner. Nebraska. Two players in and around the goalkeeper. That's interesting. Lauren Town, too far for her. Headed back in. And right on net. Cleared off the line. No, it's not. It's a goal for the corner. Nebraska setting something up here. This one sent in, regathered, wide. Belzeal running again with five defenders around her. Somehow has a chance to find Dale. She keep it in the box, she does. Centering over the middle, save me by middle. That one's stolen by Rudney. Pitches it up to Weber and it's a two on two. Weber. Getting by, Smangy held in the box. To send it forward to Weber. Ball is there, run back by Weber. Weber had that goal and almost got another one. Dale is well. It's very hectic and they're just trying to finish here from Nebraska. Yeah, and the Huskers have shown an ability to finish on service like that. You can't give them too many opportunities because they will bury them. Chance from distance and off. Anytime you have a flip throw, it keeps people around. Instead, they'll keep Jade back, so a little bit too close, I guess. So they sent back across, a little bit of trouble. That was lost in the sun. Over to Hill. Hill over the middle to Weber. Weber with a shot of Abby Schwarz, but it instead blew back towards uh, Beardsley. Beardsley's goal kick died in the air, and it results in Weber with a great shot. That one just to the right. Now in this opening half, a half that turned almost immediately after the water break. Here comes Briley Hill finding Weber. Weber shoots, and what a save. Send it to Vakari. Vakari, rather, the Georgetown transfer. Weber. We're playing handball roulette today a little bit, which is pretty funny after we had a little controversy at the end of the first half, and there have been a, a couple of handball calls already early in the second half. Here's Weber staying up. Weber fighting for the ball. The left-footed shot curls away from Oz. Well done. It does lead to a corner kick, though, for Nebraska. Wait, 
Weber off the crossbar. Still loose. Yeah, let's that one go out of bounds off of Rachel Kutella. She tries to find Weber in the box. Weber puts that one off of her left. Now in the box, she will have a look at it. Goes across Phillips. Phillips with a great save. Weber now on the ball. Oh, almost a... ...about how big this field is, and he actually talked about trying to narrow it a little bit, but... Here's Weber racing ahead. Weber to the right foot with the shot. It's right ahead. Versoski. Now wait out for Weber. Shot off the crossbar. All for the third time tonight. Can crack at that one back. Stanford looking a little long. Nebraska controlling. This is Sarah Weber, the junior. Fighting off a couple of Cardinal, but can't keep that one in play. A battle for it now, and touched on it before the break. Newer overtime rules here in college soccer. Of course, they got rid of. OT during the regular year, so every team would just play 90 minutes. Resulted in a host. To see, the, you know, that's if they try a little bit more of a long shot approach this, this afternoon. And Mendoza is hobbling. The Huskers are running. Sarah Weber with the ball. This moves on Creighton initially. They maintain their attack here. And Anglim into the corner. And Great ball. It is Weber. Weber centering over the middle. Might have Dale again, and it's deflected. Oh, keeps it in. Good chance for the Anteater. Save made by Hawk. And that one popped up, and that allows the Nebraska defense to reset. Out running is Weber. Weber has Dale in front. Schwarz to the right, and Belzeal to the left. Schwarz. If you can get a freshman some key experience in the NCAA tournament, no re reason not to. Weber with Gillies defending, goes right, then left, shoots, and that one's deflected. Right is that left, knowing exactly how close the Big Red were to a big start. Wow, and it all starts with Abby Schwartz at the ball. It's a perfect ball. It takes the deflection on the defender, and for the nation's leading goal. Lane with a beautiful throw to Sarah Weber. Weber over to Belzeal. Belzeal ended up with that somehow over to Dale. By Weber. Wide and Weber might have a chance here. Does so. Can she keep it in? Dale with a chance. It goes off the right side of her head and Ang left it in the opening half. Here's Sears. That's a mistimed play. Sends it right to the foot of uh, Weber. Now ahead. Eleanor Dale. Left foot. As that pass intercepted. Nebraska bench wanted a whistle. They don't get it. Weber works herself around Gason. And now the girls on the field, the next next 12 minutes are really important because with the one goal difference and with what's on the line, so when it can get a little chippy or some of the stoppage of the play can... As toward Dale knocked down by slew of Illinois defenders. We were trying to get it to Belzeal and kicked away. Long pass ahead toward Brazoza. Dolezal kicked away. By Jordan Zaid. Now hit her. Ball over the rest of the Nebraska defense, leaving Morales with nobody between her, her and the goal. Again, a little bit of a high bounce, but I thought she could have got a shot. Um, I thought she could have got a shot. Uh, in on that second attempt. Over to the back. Finds Peterson. Now there's Weber. Weber keeps that one in play. Working on Durr. Floats that one in. It could be a good chance for the header. Lands right at the feet of Schwartz. Turns around. Takes even with only three center backs on that back line. Weber slots over to the right side with Briley Hill coming into this one. It's back to Jordan Zade. Save, working her way. Finds Weber down on the side. Weber pushed down. The ball's still in play. Then it goes out. 
Free kick for Angle. Finds Weber. Weber back down by two defenders. Three are there in the vicinity. Sarah Weber gets by all three. He's taken down by Johnston. Weber wants to go quick. Johnston won't let her. First foul on the afternoon. Team highs for Iowa would be Samantha Carey. Ellie Otto with three each. That one inside the 18. And Aga up on the West Coast and Washington. But they also got to play some tough opponents around here as well. St. Louis, Rutgers, who were both in the NCAA tournament. This ball's played to Sarah Weber. Weber's going to block to the back post. Here's Eleanor Dale. Sliding shot kick. In half number one. Both, both coaches... And Paula Wilkins and John Walker are happy with their team's efforts right now. Here's Weber getting by two defenders. Chasing her the Badgers. Going with the black jersey and the orange gloves. What a combo. And the sky blue works for Wisconsin in those red and white uniforms. You have red, white, and blue. As here's Eleanor Dale making a run towards McKinney who's wearing blue. Dale inside the box. The pass a little behind Sadie Wade. Coming in for help. Right at the barrier between the last... The second and last third of the pitch. Sade finds Weber. Weber is now switched onto this right wing side. Weber's going to cross the ball to the back post towards Briley Hill. Hill, header, shot, save. Sarah Weber. Weber tries to do a good job trying to shield it. It's going to be won by Guyot with a throw here. Short throw to Sarah Weber. Weber, nice tap to the right inside. Breaks a defender's ankles there. How here's Weber. Weber flicks it to Belzeal. Belzeal, shot, save. Anderson able to get ahead to it. Singh was a step slow from being able to put a foot to it. Weber on the left side. Sends the cross in. Deflected. And that's where we stand here at Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium with 15 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Here's Weber again. Weber. Good ball over. And just missing, though, is Belzeal. She has endless energy. Her and Euler both have put in the shift. I think she had a pumpkin spice latte this Something morning. like that. Ooh, nice nifty feet there from Sarah Weber. She's still going. Rides the challenge, looking to the back post. An excellent tracking from Willow. Yeah. Hawk with 13 saves in a match last year and an upset victory against Penn State. She's got seven saves today. Well, everybody thought it was going to go out there for a second. Sarah Weber able to sneak it down the line. And Nebraska will be happy to... Here's Evan. Looking to push it up the pitch. She'll have to deal with Sarah Weber. Who shifts over to that right side once Briley Hill comes. Any Husker defenders, it seems. As there's two def defenders in red and white constantly around the ball. Weber. And Ruelas battling. Nice. Ruelas backing her down. And Weber. It's like stealing candy from a baby there. Great defense. Over to the Iceland native where Nebraska actually spent a significant amount of time back in the early months of summer. Spoke to Coach Walker earlier this year, and he mentioned... Budish taking the ball up that right wing. Cuts it back out to the right side. Weber does a nice job to defend and take the flop. It'll be a free kick for their chance like that. They're going to at least have to put it on net because... When you're playing Nebraska, it can get out of hand really fast. Nebraska. <laughs> we don't want to get outgridded anymore. Just relentless by Sarah Weber. Goes through. Trick. Dale bearing down on her. She gets it away. Northwestern's got to be really careful here. A bad pass from Regazzoni. Weber bearing down on it. But Northwestern clears it away. Or do they do set deep in the corner? And it looks like that's going to be a to play in this one as well, but Guy has done a nice job stepping in. Top of the 18. Rutgers in white, Nebraska in red. At Eastern Michigan. In a game this year. 
That's one way to normalize enthusiasm. <laughs> Get a 3v3 the other way and create a, a high quality scoring opportunity. Here's Wheeler. Hard pressure by Weber getting the ball back. There she is. Come on, getting the board first. As you see there, reflected in, on your screen, Olivia Borgen is the one com coming off. And Rebecca Cook is the is the sub on. Quick fight for the ball, no foul called. Dale played inside, Belzil still on the ball. Quick chip looking for Weber. Weber on the opportunity, Osman. Quickly get it in. Dukovic has it taken away. One back by Bramlett. Foul. So the kick coming up by Arribas goes to the near side of the field, unable to get the ball to Martin Ball, taken away by Nebraska. Every single time, you see they, they kind of sit back and they kind of wait until those Blue Jays reach a certain line. It's kind of a restraining line is what we call it. And Up there by Hulk. Now back to Zaid again. Zaid, good cross, looking for Weber. And Weber pounds it. You're so right. Hulk sends it, it back out to Gwen Lane. And floats that up. Possible header opportunity over the net. And that's one thing the Huskers have been. And that was something that was important to see. Here's Belzeal running. Chance for Weber, maybe. The header save made by Beardsley. Weber nearly had her second on the day. And the Huskers are... Weber did not get it up based on what Dale did against the Buckeyes. This one set far cross. Headed back. And lost one high to the back post. A great ball. Head of Sarah Weber. It's down in the box. Is it over the line? That one deflected by Philbin. Huskers work it back. Header possibly for Weber. That one just to the left of McKinney. This corner kick. Belzeal. Good ball. Boy, perfect position by Pritchard. So he was in the right. Looking at Fulham. Her 24th start today. She's been out there for all the big ones this year. Here's Dale. Happen. Looking to facilitate. Now Dale. They haven't been able to do it a whole lot. We were there in Columbus, and we got to see that team go up against Wisconsin. They're at the head. They want to get into this high-intensity, high-attack offense. South Dakota State needs to slow this game down. You know, around both teams' competition, South Dakota State, the big thing is not only did they own offensive stats like Nebraska, maybe not as many, but they racked. My bad. <laughs> green. They were paying it though. <laughs> Belzeal like it popped up there. Dale. Belzeal. Joined by Wait. Dangerous ball, top of the box. Weber flicks it over and a chance for thinking it. Like the pass was just so it was right there. It was it seemed so so simple, but Went and kind of held on, thought maybe she could use Wilson as like a decoy. So uh, oh, yeah. 11 that played in that semifinal game or now on the field as Lane makes her first appearance. Wow, look at that snapping yeah. header from Weber. The sixth place record inside of the Big 12 made the conference semifinals as well. And it's a pretty difficult conference. Oklahoma, or the Big 12 conference had three teams make the NCAA tournament. So it's not, not neat. Facing two defenders, she'll go a different way. Buddha. Dom's a collision there. On it. Perez with the corner kick again. This one's short. And batted away by the Huskers at five. Wrong with every one of her, or every tackle. 
Eden White's free kick. Yep, there's Weber. But then we Rutgers. Tiernan's going to take it. Lofts it high in the air. Boy, headed with 40 out of there, though, by Nebraska.